nine oh. nearly went in the pocket. That nine got kicked everywhere, and this break is devastating at the moment from Fu. Although, has he got a shot through to the two? Keep your eye on the two ball. Has he got the two nine combination? Look at the athleticism in that. This guy's a bit of a beast, I can tell you. Look at that face. He's really up for it. I'm talking about Nigel, of course, the referee. <laughs> there goes the nine. It's not going to quite go. Has he got the two nine combination? Or perhaps he doesn't play it. Perhaps he plays the two, the two ball in the other corner pocket and the nine at the same time. That's what he's gone for. <laughs> this young man is flying. Here's a guy that's uh, feeding on, being the star turn. 3 0 he leads. Oh, that's a, that's a superb break he's got going there. And he's making balls off the break, and the cue ball's in excellent shape. That, uh, that particular shot, he played the cue ball, what's called, you know, just, it's called the cut break, where you cut the cue ball to the side cushion. I don't know whether he actually intended that. Got a bit of a spin on the ball, but. By playing the cut break and sending the cue ball to the side cushion before the middle pocket, sometimes you take out the, the of the equation scratching into the middle pocket. And that was a shot that uh, Efren Reyes, when he won the World Championship down in Cardiff a number of years back, employed so well. But look how easy he's making this seam at the moment. And a very solid, sound cue action, striking the balls positively. At the moment, it's all foo. You must wonder to some degree whether uh, the talking that uh, Earl Strickland uh, got involved in in the first rack meant that he had his mind completely on the job when he was clearing the rest of those colours. Killed the cue ball somewhat there. He meant to come out into the middle of the table more. Well, Strickland has certainly, uh, let's just take another look at that shot. Strickland has certainly paid the price for missing that six, that undercut. He's not been back at the table since. And Fu, up until that last one, had, had hit every shot just about perfect. He's not, he's not out of position, um, as you would be possibly on a, a larger table. This ball cuts into the left-hand corner or the right-hand corner, whichever he fancies. And strangely enough, the, the right-hand cut uh, could be the right shot. <laughs> I, I've got to be honest, I mean, like, plenty of people, poor people watching at home uh, will realise how much in control this guy is at the moment. He's got a very soft grip on the back uh, back arm there. But he's controlling the ball superbly well. Doesn't seem to be showing any signs of being overawed. And obviously relishing this tournament being in his home country. monster there he employed the cut break once again although it was kicked away from the side cushion and he's got a real problem hasn't he? because that blue is totally obscured well he's not going to dominate this one at least Strickland will be getting out of his chair for the first time since the first rack he may be, but he Push may be call. just going to the table to have a look at the situation to put Fu back in. So just gently nudging the ball across the table. After the break-off, who's ever shot it is next, whether it be the opposing player coming to the table or the player who's made a ball. Thank you. He doesn't like the situation, can play a push-out. Earl doesn't bother to get out of his chair. Looking down at uh, down. something on the floor that he's seen. Decided to not look. He's looking for his cue, Steve. It's so long since he actually had to use it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's not a pretty sight, is it? Really? I think probably Nike would be quite happy. Although it could be something out of a. Oh, I hooked it slightly left into the water <laughs> rather than. 
he's not happy. It's only 4 0. I mean, we saw Bergendorf get back from 4 0. But uh, he can talk himself out as matches uh, out of matches as well as uh, talk himself into winning matches. Well, if he's decided that the world's against him here and uh, he feels sorry for himself, he'll be in trouble. I'm, I mean, you never know what's going on on planet Strickland, but I mean, I wouldn't be at all surprised if there's a bit of reverse psychology going on here. I'm not too sure it'll work on this guy. Shot. <laughs> well, marvellous shot there. How he managed to thread his way around the back of there. It doesn't look like Strickland can get through. Certainly can't from there. Although a relatively easy escape, but he's got to try and make the ball safe at the same time. And playing the jump shot, he may be trying to pop this. Great shot from Strickland. What a marvellous, marvellous shot maker he is, and even though he's not made good position on the three ball, he's got a very obvious roll up behind the five. Just play gently behind the five. He's got to draw him, he's got to make the ball go to the cushion. Oh, he could putt it. Didn't think that went past the six ball. Big applause on an outside table. You can assume that somebody from Taiwan at least won a rack. Well, Chow Fong Pang is out there somewhere. And Earl Strickland is uh, just sending out a little message that this one ain't over yet. He's digging deep here. And making what could have been a, a worse situation into something that could turn to be optimistic. He's, he's in the ha it's in his hands, really, what he, how he does and how he goes about this. But this is an excellent uh, clearance of the balls under severe pressure just shows the quality of the queuing and also the competitiveness of this guy he's got everything he's got a bit of everything this man great queuing there will he continue with the soft break yes he will yes. he's not getting great position on that one ball well <laughs> On this, it's gone down the <laughs> it looked like he was going to the middle of the table there. The two just came along and said, in you go. There you go in and I'll stand over the pocket for you. Uh, but there is a slight problem in as much as the two ball is the other end of the table from the three and it is not certain whether he can manufacture the correct angles to get around the table. Perhaps play a similar shot to the one that Fu played. Well, that was a clever shot there, really. He doesn't need to get perfect position on this three ball, and in cutting this three ball, he's going to be naturally coming down the table for the four. Very intelligent shot there from Strickland. A lot of players would have tried to get closer to that three. He doesn't want to be close to this four. Yeah, that's not looking good, is it? Ooh, Just he's... about... Well, he's on the edge there with that one. That's a horrible shot. If you're going to play this shot now with a rest, He's got to quickly get his cue out of the way after playing the shot. The cue ball's going to come off the table, off the, off the cushion. And he's got to avoid colliding with his tip again as it comes back. Not a good outcome. At one point, I thought he was going to be actually full on there, Steve, and just uh, running for cover. He's got a chance to play this left hand. He's got to be very quick getting the cue out of the way. just about come off the cushion far enough to make the five very easy to snatch at those and uh, not complete the shot and not get enough power on the ball well what a difference a couple of racks make if they go the right way and this is all of Earl Strickland's making and look at the quality of that strike Fu hasn't played a bad shot. You remember, he put him in a safety, and it was Strickland who got himself out of the hole. 4-2 now, with Strickland to break. You know he's going to make one from the break. He's got the break off right. This game is now very, very close. Indeed it is.
he's got to concentrate with this shot because this is not easy to get position on the two unless of course he decides to play a combination after this one not easy to see what's going on with this shot so it looks very much like the slow roll 2-7 combination leaving the blue two over the pocket striking the balls perfectly at the moment this is turning into an excellent match there's no power coming from him. It's all very precise stuff, isn't it? His break-off is very controlled, and he's getting a super spread of balls. Don't seem to be happy with that. Not too sure why. Doesn't usually spend too much time working out the shots. He has a very quick brain for working out the positional side of the game. Really see the problem with this shot other than the fact perhaps he's got alternatives perhaps playing with inside English to come around the table for the three into one of the bottom pockets and this will go nicely into the top right on our screen around the back of the nine His positional sense with this cue ball has just been uh, icily effective. He's just not been out of position. And there's nothing he can do about it now. It's his turn to sit and watch. It can be a horrible game, this, can't it? Foo, all he did was play a snooker. soften up on the break even more and the reason he did that was to make sure that one ball didn't go to the top rail how clever a shot was that now he's got position on the one ball work to do one to two not an easy positional shot many balls in the way and the route around the table all important with this shot how will Earl Strickland go about obtaining good position on the two ball Amazing the uh, breaking contrast in it. This fella puts absolutely everything behind it, and Earl just uh, almost reluctantly pulls the trigger. But uh, the net result is every bit as effective. Two ball under the stomach of Earl Strickland. And this could go wrong. And a very clever shot. If he played it exactly like that, what a class shot that was. No real benefit of being any straighter he's still got balls in the way of the position on the three ball so perhaps coming out into the middle of the table is the best place to play position for this three ball the blue spot on a snooker table would be ideal position if you could possibly get there he's a bit short of pace here just made it Oof. staggered over didn't it only just and now this rack has opened up quite nicely across the face of the four. Like three, dead seals. <laughs> three people clapped. He said it sounds like three dead seals. And now he's talking again, moaning <laughs> that they're not applauding his shots. <laughs> they don't appreciate me. That's what they don't just don't appreciate me. None of us do, Earl. None of us do. We're all unappreciated, let's face it. Perhaps. I mean, Nick, no, when was the last time somebody appreciated you? <laughs> Long time ago. Long time ago. Exactly. Well, if he is taking this smouldering resentment and fueling his own fire here, it's certainly working. What's that saying? Nobody hates me. Uh, nobody loves me. Uh, it's worm eating, isn't That's it? That's right. That's the last part of the yeah. equation. Perhaps somewhere, somewhere in on mainland China, they probably sell some. He could go and buy. 
Maybe he's a Millwall fan, Steve. Nobody likes us, we don't care. Now, what's he on about? Well, nobody likes him, maybe. He doesn't care. He's dead level. Good player. He's kept his composure. You haven't seen him dropping his head, have you? He's still remaining focused. He knows how quickly a, a nine ball match can turn on its head. If he gets out of this and makes the one ball, who's to say he doesn't run the next couple of racks? Well, that's the point, isn't it, Steve? He, he's within touching distance. If he can pinch this rack, he's almost there. There's no reason why Fu mentally has to say to himself, I'm out of this. He's at the table. All you can do is play the right shot at the right time, try your hardest. Somehow he's got to try and keep these balls apart and get a ball in between. I don't think he's playing anything other than to keep these balls contained here with this shot. He didn't want the cannon on the nine. And it's just separated from the seven enough that Earl Strickland has the one into the centre with a little bit of work to do to get on the three ball. Perhaps Fu's last chance is that Strickland fails to get position on this three. Should he do so, he's through to the next round, in my opinion. Now, what's he going to get? Oh, That's superb, looking good. That's looking very shot. good. Took every risk out of the equation there. Can count himself unlucky that he's ended up tight on that cushion. The crowd there smiling at Earl, look at him. <laughs> Little lads in the background there, just <laughs> laughing their heads off. <laughs> thinking, what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's on the point of victory. He's had a wonderful comeback. He's played a near faultless game, but that's not enough for Earl Strickland. Well, instead of cutting this in softly and coming around the table for the three, he's now got to jack up in the air and perhaps spin it off three cushions. That's the only difference. He nearly overcut it. Span it off three cushions. The cue ball's going to have a bit more pace because he overcut it fractionally. A little bit thicker than he would have been on that four into the same pocket. And he's moaning away to himself, but he's got an easy four, eight combination. The only problem would be if the four went safe afterwards, but well, you've got to fancy him to make this. The four will go the, over the opposite pocket if he strikes it firmly. And there's the four going over there. Now you can see he fancies the job. Perhaps bringing the cue ball. I don't think you play the five into the middle. It's made to be played into the middle, but he can play it into one of the corner pockets as well. He has choices here. Well, he has played into the middle. A lot easier than possibly I thought it was. Six down the table. Just wobbled and he's he's bad. That's bad. It's the first positional mistake Earl Strickland has made in the nine racks that he's been involved in. Certainly the eight racks he's been involved with through a winning situation. And Earl's in bits on the table. Down, please. He's collapsed. And Fu went perked up a bit. Up didn't in he? his chair, like a jolt of electricity had just gone through it when he saw this because the winning post is in sight for Strickland. Three pots and he's done it. I'm not too sure whether Earl Strickland played to get which side of the table Earl Strickland played for, um, whether he played to get over to this right-hand side or to play short for the six. There was no need to try and get over to the right-hand side. And not only has he got a... He's not playing a, a shot here, he's just playing a safety. Very thin on the six, spin round behind the nine, hasn't got enough power on it, and actually it's short enough that Fu's got a chance to cut this in. Goodness me, it looked all over, didn't it? It really did. Just at the last moment. Oh, what's, up? what's the matter with Fu? Oh, he just wants uh, chalk on the ball. Yeah, the chalk. <laughs> Needless to say, of course, Strickland is outraged. 
cue ball is being cleaned. Uh, no, I'm not too sure. <laughs> not too sure he was there. I don't know what he was on about. But I don't think he was upset about that. You can't be upset about that. It's part of the game. Well, this looks looks missable, but I don't think he will miss it. It's a lot easier on a pool table than would be on another type of table, but. Oh, he has missed it, and the cue ball's going up and down the table, and what well, he's left roughly Earl Strickland the same shot. Well, if Fu wanted to win this match, that was the shot he had to have. Earl Strickland has just said to Fu, said, you're still going to win, you're going to win because I'm too old. That's the word he's come out with there, as if he doesn't fancy that he's able to win because he's too old. That's a bit of a worry, he's 46, the same age as me. Oh, he's just about to hit that and he's got up again. He's not happy. This is a harder shot. Even though the six is fractionally closer to the pocket. But I've got a feeling this is one of the greatest shot makers in the game, you'll get this in. Crowd applauding that, and, and they Ooh, should. And the they really should. Well, you can understand it. I know you can understand it, but you, you can't applaud a miss, Steve. Uh, well, as long as you're not being disrespectful to the other person, <laughs> um, uh, you can. Well, let's put it this way: they want him to win. See the crowd moving across the, the line of the player shot there. Strickland doesn't win, friends. Now, a second chance. Mustn't. Mustn't go, mustn't scratch off this shot. It looks like half a scratch, but I'm sure he's just bouncing the cue ball off around. He's got a bit more on that than he needed. Oh, the crowd have come to life. They've had a long time remaining silent, and all of a sudden they see a bit oh, come in, planet Mars. Well, I think if you wanted to take one rack from this competition to explain the drama, the excitement of pool, this is the one. There's always a crisis point in a match, and we've just seen it there. Will there be another one? Oh, his head's in his hands. He's let him off the hook. Can Fu now control the game? the crash bang wallop there goes the wing ball but not as good a result on the one ball I'm not saying that you, you, in some respects you, you're right he, he really should be learning from from a player who's got the break off to perfection but I didn't fancy him to change his breaking tactics well it would be awfully difficult at 7-8 in a match to a race to nine wouldn't it to suddenly change everything I'll be astonished if, if uh, some of the top players, after having seen this match, don't change their break-off strategy. So a safety, but it's got to be a good one. Can he somehow knock the one ball safe and just sort of flick the six ball and use that as a snookering ball? There is an element of risk, risk in that shot. It would be lovely, wouldn't it, just to sort of line those three balls up on the cushion. But, of course, it could easily poke its nose out, that one ball. Can he go for it? It's a cut. That's what he tried to do, the line-up. He's not got it perfectly. The crowd are clapping. I certainly don't think from our overhead that looks on. He's not happy. He's shaking his head. Well, it looked like it. There was definitely edge, an edge to see there, mm. and it's not certain now from this position whether Earl Strickland can see an edge. And even if he can, does he want to hit that edge? That's a smile. Where's that come from? Well, somebody with a degree in psychoanalysis, Steve. We've had all the emotions, haven't we, from Strickland, including a most extraordinary comment. He said he was going to lose because he's too old and then promptly missed a shot. 
clever shot there, but he doesn't want to collide oh. with the eight and uh, he's got away leave, with it. It. leave it still. Okay, he immediately said jump cue. Earl Strickland's not not particularly enamoured with players who use the jump cue. He feels it's cheating. That's a tough shot to jump. There's enough distance between the between the cue ball and the six ball that in jumping over to hit the one ball, this the cue ball will have so much pace on it and be flying up in the air or down, bouncing that chances are it would jump off the table after colliding with the one. If that six ball was slightly closer, perhaps it would be possible to jump. The other problem with that from a jump perspective is using the shorter cue, how can you reach the shot? And he hasn't yet gone for the shorter cue, has he? No, I don't think it's a possibility. But a, a really wicked position for the one ball to be in to try and escape off of <coughs> this, this side cushion that he's looking at. And he's really up against it with this shot. The reason why this is such a tough shot, you can imagine if the one ball was on the opposite side cushion, on the top cushion, you know, the other side of the pocket, uh, it would be nice to hit the far cushion, perhaps just nudge into the top rail and then flick the one ball in. Where it is, is a, is a really awkward position. This is very missable. The chances of this, of this going out, coming out safe for Fu, I would say are, are as little as 10%. The chances of him potting it, 5%, 1%. I mean, it's a really awkward shot. He would like, perhaps, to hit two rails here. Side cushion, top cushion, flick across the face of the one ball is his only chance. But if he starts hitting it very hard, he's going for the pot. Oh! Foul shot, ball in hand. He hit that as well as he could possibly have hit it without potting the one ball. And that's missed by millimetres. And on such misses... What a great try. It really was, but on such misses, our challenges for the world title ended. So Earl has what would be considered an easy run out for victory. Perhaps a little bit of work to do, getting from the three ball to the five ball to the six ball. Doubt it. If he just plants that cue ball in the middle of the table after potting the three, he's in prime position. There's no problems really, is there? Even though it looked a difficult situation. It's been a typical Earl Strickland match, hasn't it? Never dull, a little bit of everything. He just trundle through a fraction with his three ball. Just a fraction trundling it through to leave himself as thick a contact on the five as he dare. Inside spin, left-hand spin, round the back of the nine and the eight, or draw across the table, take that risk out of the equation. Doesn't want to be straight on this six, it's a fraction straight. Now he's going to have to follow through with left English off of the two rails, side and bottom. That was superbly struck, superbly struck. He's talking in between shots. Yeah, well, there it is again, he says. He's come too straight on it. I still don't think he's going to mess this up. He is the greatest shot player I've ever seen. Wow, look at that. He was this close once before, wasn't he, in the last rack? If he played roughly the same shot, um, he would either collide with the nine and knock it out of the way or come into position on the eight ball. Would he play the same shot? Yes, he has done. Perfect. And Earl Strickland has played a magnificent match. And he's through to the next round. Now we talk. Thank you. Love him or hate him, you have to admire him. Earl Strickland goes through to the last 16.